Hey everyone, I'm Joel on the road and today my UNESCO World Heritage Journey is at the Upper Middle Rhine Valley in Germany. So the Rhine River runs across the centre of Western Europe all the way from Switzerland and the Alps to Amsterdam in the Netherlands. And it's historically been a super important river for trade and as a frontier as well. It was the frontier of the Roman Empire between their French territories and the wild Germanic tribes of the interior. And it was a very, very rich trading artery as well. Now, there's plenty of evidence of all of that still here. And of course, the vineyards all along the sides of the gorge that we're about to go through. I'm really looking forward to this one. Let's have a look. Behind me, you can see the Lorelei Rock, which stands over a hundred meters high over the narrowest and deepest section of the whole river. Now, legend has it that the Lorelei, a mermaid, a siren, lives on top of the rock and she sings a beautiful song, luring mariners to their deaths against the rocks. Hopefully that doesn't happen to us today. One of the most important features of the World Heritage listing here in the valley is actually the vineyards. Now, wine has been grown here for thousands of years and when you see the terraces on the hills behind me, those aren't natural, they've been dug out by hand over the course of millennia and that's just incredible. It's fantastic to see the way humans are reshaping the natural environment and making it beautiful and productive. Because the river was such an important trading artery, the locals would set up toll points and all that sort of stuff, and it made them very, very wealthy, enabling them to build enormous castles like Schoenbrunn that you can see up on the hill behind me. It was partially destroyed during the Thirty Years' War, but it has been rebuilt and it now houses a hotel. Well, we've had a fantastic cruise here on the Rhine. We've seen some beautiful castles and some lovely towns, lots of towering cliffs with vineyards sticking to the side of them as well. Very, very impressive landscape and very obvious why it's on the World Heritage List. But that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm Joel on the Road and I'll see you at the next World Heritage site.